Hello, fellow crafters. How's it going? It's Clickwell here. We're back. We're in our... I don't know what is what is this place? This is gonna be my compost heap, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. This is just some some nasty pods for some trees I was growing, but you know what? It kind of looks nice in this little area. It's kind of outside. It might be covered, so this could be a cool spot to grow some vegetables or something. I think that's what we're gonna do. That's the one thing great thing about Minecraft when you're building houses like this is little corners and crevices like this kind of creep into your build that you weren't planning, and they make really great little additions to your lore and to your story. So we're gonna use this little area. We're gonna try and make it fun. Welcome back, guys. Here we go. We are in another episode. This is episode. Eight, my gosh, this is uh, this is moving along beautifully. We have so much done today, and as I said last episode, today is all about the wool. We are gonna mess with some sheep today. We are going to make sure that uh, they give us all the wool that is possible with our farm. And uh, you know what? Why don't we? First things first. Um, I'd love to show you guys a little bit about. Uh, about wool farms. I'd like to teach you about uh, about how they work. They're very very simple to be honest. Just a couple of blocks. Um, sheep farms are amazing when they're early game. Okay, there's a few things we're gonna need for our little mini wool farm. These things are a little overpowered, but let me show you exactly how they work. You can build them super early with only a few blocks. So the first thing we're gonna need is an observer. Now remember, observers notice when the the block, the state change of a block happens. So if, um, for example, oof, let's say we stripped this piece of oak wood. That's 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 the block changing state. That's the block changing to something different, and an observer is gonna recognize that. It, it recognizes. Anytime uh, something like that happens, such as a, a a sheep eating a grass block, a grass block turning to a dirt block is a state change of that block, and that's going to be noticed by the observer. So we're going to utilize that. So let's go ahead and look for a little bit of quartz right there. Okay, we're only going to need one piece. We're also going to need some cobble, a little bit of redstone. Go over to our crafting table, and there is our observer right there be beautiful. The next thing that we are going to need is a dispenser. Dispensers are used to use an item, if that makes any sense. So droppers are used to drop an item and dispensers are used to use an item. So if I were to put something such as, now I think I have some in here. Uh, yes, I do. So shears. Shears are what we're going to be using in this particular instance. And we have some uh, We have some redstone, we have some, uh, some, some cobblestone. The only other thing we're going to need in order to build the dispenser is some string and some sticks because what you use for that is a bow and arrow bow and arrow it's interesting but you know what? i guess that makes sense the bow and arrow is possibly shooting the thing inside out and causing it to be used or something i don't know exactly why that is but you know what that's what they decided i'm okay with that uh there's our dropper there's our dispenser you can tell they look pretty similar to the droppers don't get confused the dispenser's got a nice big uh, sort of open uh, mouth there and the dropper's got a nice little smile on its face so you know what that's one way to tell the difference but we're gonna grab a dispenser we're gonna grab the observer we got a little bit of redstone dust and I think that's everything basically that we need we have some wood with us so we can uh, you know what let me grab a little bit of wood from up here just so we have everything we need so we are going to use the observer to check the, dis the, the state change of the block we're going to use the dispenser to to fire the the shears on top of the sheep and then we're going to use a hopper to pick up the items when they fall into the ground now I don't know if we have any extra hoppers lying around I don't believe we do, so I'm going to take some iron and some wood. We're going to make that wood into a... We're going to do it in our menu here so you can kind of see. Into some planks. We're going to make those into two chests, I guess. We're going to make one of those chests into a hopper with some iron. And that's everything we need. We have some extra... You know what? While we're here, we might as well just make that extra chest. We're going to need two chests, so... Boom. Two chests. All right. That's everything we need. Uh, let's go ahead and find ourselves a sheep. Hey, what's going on, Fuzzbutt? Let's go. You're coming with me. Come on. Come on. As you can see here, I'm holding wheat in my hand. Uh, that's the particular item that sheep like to follow. That's what they're attracted to. Um, all, all, all animals uh, follow something. You know what I mean? So it's sometimes sometimes if you're looking to trap a, a pig or something and it's not working if you're using wheat, you just got to try something else. For pigs, for example, you're looking for carrots. We're going home. Uh, let me build you a little bridge here. Come here. Come on. Hey. Psst. Yep, this way. I've got all the wheat you could ever want. Let me get rid of that. And get rid of these. And safety first. Okay, come on. Come on, little buddy. Let's go. Dude. Okay. Now, I generally like to put my farms all in the same area. Now, that's mostly because of a sound thing, but it also kind of helps uh, keep all the lag and everything in one area. So, let's go ahead and put this guy 
over here with our chicken farm. If he wants to climb up this hill with me. Look, I don't want to climb her. He's a billy goat. Okay. I think that he can go probably right here would be a good spot for him. Um, I wish I could make you sit, and I don't have a lead. So let's go ahead and, uh, why don't we put you in a hole? Let's put you in a hole. Enjoy yourself. Okay, alright. Let's go ahead and stick him right here. Um, uh, I think I like this spot. I think I like this spot. That's where we're gonna go. Alright, so, I'm gonna dig a couple of, of dirt blocks out of the wall like so. We're going to imagine that our sheep is going to be standing right here. This is going to be a grass block that he's going to be consuming. Um, now, this is going to have to be grass as well, because it, we, it's better when you have grass coming from multiple angles. If we had a grass block there, a grass block there, and a grass block here, that would be three chances for that to turn into grass, and it would happen much faster. Um, what we could do is actually remove this one here, uh, turn this into grass, and that'll give us one more, one more grass block. We'll have to wait for this to spread, but that's just fine. So, he's going to be standing right here. This is going to be our spot, so that's going to turn into grass. This right here is actually going to be an observer pointing in at this particular dirt block. Remember, when this block changes state, when it goes from a grass block, and then the sheep eats the grass and it turns into a dirt block, this observer is going to notice that, and it's going to output a redstone signal. Boom. Oop, actually, pardon me. See, if you notice, actually, the arrow is pointing this way, that means that the redstone signal is going to be coming this way. So we actually put that the wrong direction. So, let's go ahead and remove that block. And try one more time. There, lovely. Excuse me, sir. So, now what we need to do is we need to take, take a block like this and place a redstone dust on it like so. Now, what's going to happen is this, when this, this particular uh, observer notices a state change here, it's going to send redstone into this dirt block underneath of this dust, which is going to light this redstone dust on. Turn this redstone dust on, and what that's going to do is it's going to turn the dispenser on. Now, what the dispenser is going to do is it's going to take these shears and it's going to shear the sheep right here. Um, Hold on, let's see if we can give him a little bit more... <laughs> okay, let's see if we can give him... Why are you changing state? What is going on here? Hello? Interesting. Oh, the redstone over there is actually lighting it up. <laughs> the redstone from our machine is actually lighting our redstone dust. So you know what? We need to move it over one. See, this is the, this is what this is how it works. Trial and error, friends. Trial and error. Okay, that's better. Now we're far enough away from our other redstone contraption that they won't be uh, communicating with each other. So let's go ahead and place our observer in the same spot as we did. Hopefully we get the right angle. Yes, and that's going to put redstone dust into that. Um, and just to test it, see when we remove that block? That was also a state change that went from a block being there to no block being there, and that ignited the observer, which ignited the uh, the redstone dust, which sent a signal up here, which would have gone into our dispenser. So if I put uh, a, some dirt right back there, it ignited again, and if we put our dispenser right there with our shears in it, now if we were to change this, see how that just sent the shears off? If there was a sheep standing right there, he would have been sheared. So, that's great. Um, all we need to do now is set up a hopper minecart system below. Now, as we talked about before with our our chicken farm, we're going to have to use a hopper minecart system because of the fact that, uh, that this is not a full block. If this was a farmland or something like that, it would definitely work, but it is not. So, let me actually run back to our shop because I kind of forgot about this. And I'm going to go and grab ourselves a minecart and a rail so we can get this all set up and make sure we're getting all the wool that we need. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get this all set up. Um, this is going to be the block which the, uh, the, the sheep is uh, eating off of. Uh, so, we're going to need to put the hopper right there where that grass block is. And that's going to be pushed into a chest which will be right here. So, yes, it'll be... Uh, It'll be grass block, hopper minecart, hopper. And that's going to go into a chest, which is going to be right here. Just like that. So if I can actually just squeeze over here, then I could get into the right position where I could put the hopper right there. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and put the rail on top of the hopper by pressing shift and then right clicking. Lovely. And then we're going to finally put the hopper minecart on top of the rail. Boom. Done. Love it. Okay. Now when we throw something on top of the blocks like so, 
It's going to get sucked right up and into the chest. Lovely. So let's go ahead and take that back and let's get this thing prepared for the sheep. Um, I do want to make sure that's grass blocked, so let's leave it like that. Um, we can fancy this up a little bit later. This isn't ideal. Um, maybe even going like this and like this would be a little better. Uh, yeah, sure, I like that, I guess. Um, there can't be a full block here, otherwise we, uh, we aren't able to open the chest. So we'll have to figure out exactly how we would like to, uh, do this. We can put a, gra a glass block there, or even a, uh, even a trap door or something to kind of hide that area. But for now, that's fine. I like it. Um, let's, let's go ahead and put our sheep in now. We can cover this up. That's not really necessary anymore. The sheep's gonna be set up right there. Uh, so let's, let's, uh, let's block her in. Because it does look like a her to me. Let's block her in, um, maybe with some fence gates. Now that I think about it. I have a crafting table on me. I have three. So that, that means I have a crafting table of shame. So let me put a, uh, a crafting table right there and make a few fences. And we'll make a nice little spot for our sheep to grow wool. Okay, that looks like a nice little home for our sheep. Uh, let's take her out right here. And I can grab my wool. Come here. Come here. What do we name our sheep? Maybe comment below. What do you think would be a good name for our little sheep here? There we go. Good work. Good work. Come here. All right, I'm just going to push you in here. If you want to just come half of the way yourself, I can be a little bit pushy with the end part. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Beautiful. You're still not quite... There we go. You know what? I think your trap's just like that, so maybe we'll leave it so you can kind of say hello through the crack. I like it. I like it. Okay, so as you can see, it did kind of work. Now, when I say kind of, it mean I mean that the uh, the the blocks actually fell on the edge of this block. The uh, sorry, the wool fell on the edge of this block, which means that the hopper minecart didn't actually suck it up. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do to fix this is I'm going to add a solid block to where this is and I'm going to use a dirt block because that's also going to turn into grass and cra grass can jump uh, Y level like that so that's going to help us out just like that look at that as, as we're talking it turns into grass um, and we should already see a little bit of wool in our chest look at that Okay, so this farm may take a few minutes to get going, um, but just like our chicken farm, if we sit in AFK for a little bit, uh, it shouldn't be long before all the grass blocks are filled up. It's very quickly turning that back into grass, and uh, that guy is, pardon me, that girl is helping us out, giving us lots and lots of wool. Last thing I want to do here is fill up our dispenser with shears. I'm just going to shift click so I get a few at a time, and then pop them all inside. Yeah. Maybe fence gates wasn't the best idea. We're going to use glass. We're going to use glass. I don't think that was the best idea. Uh, it was too much partial blocks for the uh, for the, for the the wool to land on. Just wasn't right. Now he is, she is sealed very nicely into that little tube. And the best part about glass is it's actually a see-through block. So light's able to pass through it. Meaning that grass can grow underneath of it. So grass can pass along. We've got five times uh, the chance for... Look at that. For the grass to uh, fill in like it did. Um, the shears do click on every time it changes state back to grass. But remember, if this animal's not able to be sheared it won't actually use up the device so you're not wasting your shears every time it goes back to grass this is going to work out great i think we've got tons of wool already we've got almost a full stack so we'll just keep on waiting and we'll have lots of wool for our for our uh, for our build over there this is great that's gonna do it for today thank you so much for coming around guys and checking this video out it was a fun one because we did a farm i love farms i'm going to be hopefully doing a lot more in this series you guys can get, like, give me your comments below let me know which farms that you've uh, maybe been a little bit confused by in the past we can go over those a little bit um something like that maybe farms that you really really love the most we can we can work on those and explain those to everybody so they can use them as well i love this channel i love what we're doing here guys let's keep it going leave me a subscription leave me a like come and visit me on twitch i'll leave you the twit the link below i love it when we hang out in twitch and chat and have a good time so be sure to go by and check us out guys thank you so much for your support we'll see you very soon as the sun sets let's wave goodbye and say love you stay well stay safe see you soon peace